why a conductor? I mean, why not play a piece or or just write the music and let someone else conduct it? I mean, that's what I find fascinating about yeah. you. I mean, that takes that's why the show's called Moxie. That takes a lot of Moxie. And, you uh-huh. know, some of those people are twice your age. No offense to people older or anything, but I mean, you know, you're dealing with that's an interesting dynamic, I would think, at times. And what do you do with a performer? We won't name names, but I'm sure you've had instances because I'm sure there's egos like in any group yeah. of creative people. And sometimes maybe they don't want to take direction or maybe they're taking direction, but they're not doing it in the way you want. How do you deal with that part more of the management aspect of it, I guess? Sure. That's, that's a great question. And, and conducting, I remind people, is not about dictatorial leadership. Like okay. in our minds, you know, the Bugs Bunny-ish cartoon kind right. of conductor, we right. think about the conductor just play my tempo, crazy, crazy, tempo, very fast, <laughs> stop, fast, fast, like that. But that's not real conducting. No. Conducting is about letting energy flow between people. It's actually the definition of the word. Mm -hmm. I remind people there are two kinds of conductors, like a, you know, a train conductor, Mm -hmm. start and stop, get on and off the train, that kind of conducting, which is part of what we do. We say time to play, not time to play, you know, stop and start. But the other definition of conducting, which is a, you know, a substance that allows electricity to flow through is much more the definition that we think about kind of on a, on a daily basis that I'm not really telling people how to play so much as allowing them to play their best. Oh, and okay. in that sense, yes, there can be tension when you're suggesting something to somebody. Uh, it's hard because it's hard to separate out the musical from the personal. You know, if you, if you say, uh, you know, if, in that, in that phrase, can you make it much more kind of wistful and searching? You can take it two ways as a, as a player, as, mm-hmm. a, as a violinist or a clarinetist. You can hear, fine, I'll try that more wistful and searching. Or you can hear, he doesn't think I can play very well. Right. And, and both kind of exist there because we, when we play music, it's so personal for us. Mm-hmm. It's very personal. Like, like every time you play a phrase, you're putting yourself out there. You're saying, this is how I feel about that phrase. So any instruction or any suggestions can be taken uh in both a personal and an objective way. Mm-hmm. And so what I try and do is make it 100% about the music itself. I find that that's a good way to avoid the entire issue. If you make it about the music, it's never about you know your opinion, that person's opinion, their ego, your ego. Right. It's just about we're trying to play this music the best we can. And this is who I am, that's who you are. We're working together. Mm-hmm.